Hello everybody and uh, welcome back. In today's video, I want to go over the uh, Jay Daller program. Now I've shot this video previously, but I had issues, so that's why I'm re-shooting it. So in a quick sense, what Jay Downloader is and why you should care about it, it's a uh, stable means of downloading files on the internet. So normally you would just click on download and link and then it would just go to the download manager inside your browser. Uh, so this is actually just a lot better. There are other downloader manager programs out there, but this is the one that I really do like. Okay, uh, this one is free. It does come with some ads on it, and I'll show you how to remove all of those. And I also want to go over some examples so you can see it in action before you can really decide if you want to try this out or not. The ways that this can be uh, optimized over regular downloading it from the uh, internet on your browser is it's a more direct download. So like for example, if you try to download something from a Google Drive or from a archive link, you may have to go, or even a mega link, you may have to go through like three different clicks to get what you need to get to. And J Downloader for most part can help you skip all of that and it'll put that link straight into the download box. Okay, so I want to go over a couple of quick examples here and then we'll go ahead and get started and I'll show you how to download it and also how to debloat the system itself. Okay, so this is the um, uh, program itself, nothing fancy, nothing too major here. The uh, two tabs that you will mostly be using is the uh, downloads and the link grabber. So what the link grabber is, is whenever you go to a link and you just copy it, for the most part it will automatically Start and put the download right here so you can see what you're about to download before you actually do and then you can start your downloads and then right here is going to be the download process it looks a lot like the uh, torrents so you ever use any torrents then it'll resemble an interface like that okay here for example purposes i got the uh, light gun lunatics page brought up if you haven't joined it please do there's a wealth of good information here about light guns if you are into the light gun hobby but I want to get his media pack right here. So normally I would just click on the link. You would go down here. You can hit the RAR or torrent. Or we can even show all. And we can download and do our things this way. Or if we use the J downloader. Now the alternative route is which I'm going to use for demonstration. I'm just going to right click it and go to copy link address. Now, sometimes we'll get a little box down here that'll pop up pop up and say in that it's going to be downloaded. It will automatically pop up here, but if it doesn't, no big deal. We'll just go down here to add new links. And then uh, right through here, you'll see all these lines of text and websites. It's just sourcing everything out. So you can see me packs right here. So I can just go to continue. And there's my download. I can hit my plus sign and I can see what's inside this, which is to Bar file itself. Okay, and another example, let's jump back into archive and I don't know, let's do, um, look into the Boston Library Consortium. Uh, look into Wesley College Library. Uh, sorry, I'm trying to find something safe to show on here so I don't get a strike off of this. All right, so uh, let's go over the uh, Book of Enix so we can just click on that if you want, then we can. Go into your show all, then you can really see everything that is available here. So you can just pick the one that you want to take, or if you want to take all of them, you can just go ahead and copy this. Come over here, and it's already populated into the uh, J downloader. And you can click on this. I'm showing all those files there. And so I'm ready to download all this. So I'm just going to hit start all downloads. And it's going to automatically pop up. Now, this is a couple of quick examples, but you can really do this with just really any type of files that you want to download or just media in general. All right, this was not finished downloading, but you get the point. 
I really don't want to wait another two minutes. So let's go ahead and continue to the setup process of this. Okay, first you want to create two folders or one folder for sure. And that's going to be where you're going to put the program at. So I'm just going to place it here in the root of my F drive. Now here is optional, but I want to put all my downloads for now anyways. With my J downloader, but if you have another spot you want to put your downloads at, then just create a folder wherever you want to do that from. All right, then we want to come back up here and we're going to download the file. We're just going to go to the website up here, hit Windows, and we want to download the installer. You're going to get a uh, warning. Just go ahead and download it anyways. It's been tested, it's safe, so there's nothing to worry about here. Okay, and once it's done, you go ahead and start up the uh, executable file. You're going to go through a setup process just as you would with any other download program you're doing. Agree, and here you're going to want to set where you want to put this at. This doesn't come with its own folder, so that's why you had to create one ourselves. And here I'm just going to move it to the drive that I want it to go on. It's going to be my Extreme Pro, and I want to go to the J downloader folder that I created. Hit next. Go ahead and click those if you want. Go ahead and do that. It just wouldn't hurt. Hit next. I don't want any new icons being added, especially since I already had a couple of them right here. I want to hit next. This is um, offers, just whatever you want. I'm going to decline that. And wait about a couple of minutes for J Downloader to install. Okay, and after about a minute or two, it should be complete. You go ahead and run the J Downloader program if you're ready. You want to get this little uh, pop up. So anytime it's going to pop up is if you want to contribute. You don't have to. Me, I think I'll contribute like five or ten dollars. So it's a good cost to go towards. Now you'll see this banner up here, and this is about the only type of adware you're going to get. But for all the rest of the video, I want to show you how to remove that. Very easy, very simple. A couple things you want to do first. Okay, come up to your settings, and here you can select how many max downloads you want. I think three is just not enough, so I usually go for about eight. You can jack it up as high as you want, but eight to me seems good enough and pretty stable. Um, if this is checked, make sure you uncheck it. If you don't, it's going to cap your speed at 50. All right, now hit your settings tool up here. You want to come down to uh, Archive Extractor, and you're going to uncheck this box. If you don't, anytime you download a zip file or archive file, it's going to automatically try to extract that file. And not every file needs extraction, especially if you're extracting one of those 20-part WAR files, but you only need to extract just the first one. That's where I come in really handy, or if you're doing other files that doesn't need it. Also, I'd just rather do the extraction myself anyways. Okay, now come up here to general, and you're going to pick where you want these downloads to go. So if you want to go to your base downloads, and you can just leave it as is. I don't want it to go there. I want to go to the download folder that I created. So it's in my F drive, NJ downloader. It's going to be download folder right here. So I'm just going to hit save. And that's going to be set. Everything else should be good as it is. Okay, now I want to add a premium account. So if you have a uh, login with the Art Internet Archive and you use that quite a bit, I would highly recommend doing this. There's going to be some files that's going to need a um, got to be logged in to do it. So this will make sure you're always automatically logged in. And if you're not, then it's just not going to download a file and you're going to get the notification that you need to be logged in. And there may be other sites as well, so you can just search it up here and it'll bring it up to you. And down here would be your login information. Only one I'm worried about right now is just archive. 
All right, so we just one right here. And then you just put in your email. That's my email if anybody wants to email me. Pretty simple. Um, now, if I email you back, that's a different story. I get a lot of mail in there. So if I miss it, my apologies. And then your login password right here. I just want to double check you. I'm good. So now my archive account is linked. All right. So we got the basic setup done. Now let's go ahead and remove all this. So go back to your settings, settings, and all the way down here to advanced settings. It's just a small little tab here. Go ahead and click it. I'm going to give you a warning. Just don't show again. Hit OK. And we're going to look up a few things here. Uh, first thing, we want to pull up Oboom. That's O B O O M. And we're going to uncheck that box. We're going to get this warning. Yeah, I don't want to show it again. Just hit OK. All right. Next, we're going to go to Banner. We're going to uncheck that. Uh, donate. We want to make sure that is hidden. Okay, and uh, next we want to search for premium alert. And you should have three boxes, and you're just going to uncheck all three of them. Okay, and last you want to pull up one called special deals. Be sure to uncheck that. All right, and now we have unbloated our J downloader. So go ahead and close it and then reopen it up again. Because some of these settings won't take into effect until you close and reopen it. If you notice up top, we have no more banner. Everything still looks good. I'm going to go ahead and do one more test and I'll let you go. All right, so I came across this file on GitHub and this is actually Nixo's uh, PS2 version, which is pretty good if you want to give that a shot. Go ahead and experiment with it. But this is what I want to test out here. I'm going to right click, go to copy link address, and then you'll see this little pop up right here. All right, then I can click right here. It'll show me a link. Looks like this is not available right now, so let's go ahead and find a different file. That is one good thing is it'll show you a dead link. So I found this right here, and let's uh, right click on this and see if this will work for us. Copy link address. We got that. We don't have the red lettering, so I'm assuming it's going to be good. So now I can just click on it right here. It's got my zip file ready. I know. That's not good, so I'm going to delete it out. Then we just hit start download all. All right, so you have it downloaded. I can right click on it, open my download directory, and it shows it's right here in download area where I want it to go. This is the full file, everything's here. And that's it. Okay, so anyways, I hope you all learned something today, and I hope this program can help you out in however you choose to use it. Okay, well, anyways, y'all have a great day, and I will catch you next time.